This is the weather forecast video for Monday, April the 30th, 2012. Taking a look at the satellite image from last evening, and you can see the showers and thunderstorms over the central plains and into the middle Mississippi Valley. And this will be ongoing for several days, if not a week or so, across the middle part of the country, where you see a severe thunderstorm watch at this point. This was before midnight last night. Some frost and freeze conditions in the northeast over western North Dakota. And outside of some snow over the northwest, it's quiet. QPF chart, though, does not look quiet. This is precip through Friday at 7 p.m. And this is pretty much a broad estimate because anytime, anywhere you could get a thunderstorm could dump two inches of rain like it shows right over Dubuque. So we'll have to see about that here with the 0Z GFS model run. This is at 1 p.m. this afternoon, pretty zonal across the country. But even with the zonal flow and fast moving, unfortunately, this system does not want to move. Model doesn't show any precip, but at least at tomorrow today. But we'll have to see. There could be some evening showers and storms. Tuesday, there could be some showers and storms, and really, it's going to be very difficult to find out where any but he's going to get rain because some thunderstorms could bring out outflow boundaries and then thunderstorms could develop along the outflow boundaries. We don't know where those outflow boundaries are going to be or where the storms will fire Monday night into Tuesday. So, And this is Wednesday, still chance of showers and storms. And Thursday, still chance of showers and storms. And There's going to be a lot of dry time, though, and temperatures will be rising back up into the 70s for highs and lows in the 50s. So it's going to be quite humid. Friday, the chances drop off, but there's still a chance that there could be an isolated shower or storm again. And this is going to be the driest day of the next seven, because on Saturday, here it comes again. Some more showers and storms once more, with another disturbance. And really, this, it, this pattern just seems to be very active and wet across the area. And even on Sunday, more showers and storms. So, really... Some places in the state need rain, and, well, we're going to get a number of chances at it this week. A week from today, on the 7th, uh, it's a bit of a trough access to our west, uh, but the main flow is still across the northern tier, and, oh, look, showers and thunderstorms, and this could be more widespread a week from today, so we're going to have to... Watch this, because we could have some severe weather along with a couple of days this week as well. And this is two days later on the 9th, so there's still chances of rain. So this is even past the seven-day period. Now we're looking at day nine, and we see, see weather. Further along on the 11th, this is two days after that, we have an upper-level low. And what happens when you have an upper-level low centered somewhere? Over southern Illinois, that means, yes, there could be some more rain. We have a surface low to the east of that over Kentucky and Tennessee. So we'll have wraparound and east winds, and doesn't that look fun? At the end of the forecast on May 15th, this is four days, a couple of days later, that upper level low is what's centered over the eastern Virginia and North Carolina, so this system is going to move slow if this is right. Another system across the U.S.-Canadian border could spark a shower or storm across the Dakotas and Minnesota, so active, 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 and wet, 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 so prepare over the next two weeks if this is right. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one on Tuesday.